Any okay. beginnings? I was born and bred in Ching location in Fentersdorf, in the first province. And uh, I'm a second born to Flora and Elias Kune. Okay. And both my parents are still alive. I've got uh, an older sister, three younger brothers, and one younger sister. No, can I say go by as far as Federal uh, High School? Uh, I attended school at the Telemani Primary School. Right, yes, sir. Okay, uh, as a youngster, mm. Just like any other youngster, Bukasi, or everyone else feels very, he's talented, he's mm. blessed, and he can become something greater mm. to have come out of Fentersdorp. Mm. It was me at that time. There were a lot of other talented footballers in the province, in the location, yes. but uh, people used to tell me, Hori, you are the only one who will make it big. Mm. And that gave me the courage, I already keep believing in myself, in my talent, because obviously when you are from a location like Fentersdorp, mm. you've got limited resources. Yes. So I almost gave up on my dream, because we used to have a, a hall, community mm. hall, where we used to play Goyon, because mm. I used to attend school at 12, mm. and from 8, when my cousin, Wakes up, I ask school. Yeah. I would wake up, learn at the same time, take a bath. Nale my younger brother like he. We used to attend the 12 o'clock school. Mm -hmm. That came out half past four. So we would go lay our cousin and eat. Then we play, we play football for community hall until half past eleven. Mm -hmm. And by the time we go to class, we are already dirty. No reprofane. The hand and we used to use anything we could find. If it was a tap, mm. we would just tie it up to look presentable in class. Yeah. If it was a trata, we would just tie it up to look presentable in class. If it was a trata, we would just tie up to look presentable Yeah, and then from then, my mom and dad, but I love it, this thing is going far. I want to play football, and even the teachers they used to ask me, What do you want to be when you grow up? And I always said, I wanted to become a professional soccer player. And the first question they would ask was, What if you break your leg? And at the time, it was very scary because we didn't have the same technology we've got now. Yes. Because now a player gets injured in the next two weeks, three weeks, you went through a good rehabilitation mm -hmm. and you have recovered. But before, it used to be maybe some hepse, bandage, and then not even ice at that time. I don't think there were ice machines. Get on, I'd say, Mashu, how can you think about it? So we were limited kind of resources, but I followed my dream all the way until I became a professional footballer. And I got to experience three major injuries one on my thumb, one on my jaws, one on my groin. That, I mean, even the other one on my ankle, I was out for all the injuries three to four months. Mm -hmm. And obviously, when you're out for that long, when you get back into the team, you find out how the other players are far ahead of you at fitness level. But because of dedication and learning mm -hmm. in the game, I would do extra at home so that I can catch up quickly with the ones that are fit already. Okay. 